Uh, time now for the Royals with uh, former Royal uh, editor of The Sun and author Charlie Ray. Hello, Charlie. Good morning, Kevin. Uh, lots to talk about, but mainly, yep. I think, uh, this Martin Bashir story over at the BBC and the way that he clearly used pretty underhand methods to persuade and lure Princess Diana into making that iconic interview 25 years ago. Uh, that's causing a lot of trouble at the BBC, and I think it's a situation that's only going to get worse. What do you reckon? Absolutely, and uh, and as we both know, Kevin, the stories can always be controversial, but the cover-ups are always the worst thing that happens right. uh, in a in a story. Uh, we we have a situation here where Charles. Spe- this is a story that's been simmering, you know, for in effect for twenty five years, and has come to light again because of the recent documentaries about Diana and uh, making the Panorama program, in which we all know was a devastating interview, one of the best interviews anybody's ever had. Now, it now transpires that Martin Bashir, who I have to say two things. One, he's extremely ill at the moment with COVID-19. Yeah, he's got COVID-19. Very sorry to hear that. But secondly, he also is the religious affairs correspondent of the BBC. So you would expect a bit more from him. Now, he has been accused of faking certain documents, documents which purport to show that... Charles Spencer's head of security at that time was being paid uh, a lot of money for information by the Sun. False, never happened, uh, completely fake. And secondly, documents that showed that uh, Commander Richard Aylard, uh, private secretary at that time to Prince Charles, and Patrick Jefferson, private secretary to the Prince of Wales at that time, were being paid um, by MI5 to spy on her. Again, completely false. Absolutely ridiculous. Now, it was as a result of of, of uh, Spencer seeing these documents that he introduced Diana to Bashir. Now, Bashir, uh, well, Diana is say, uh, has said, or the BBC has said that Diana never saw these documents, uh, and they have a letter to this effect, <coughs> excuse me, they have a letter to this effect that she never saw these documents and didn't influence her. Unfortunately for the BBC, They've lost the letter. Also, also, oh. also, uh, if I may say so, Charlie, uh, Charles Spencer, Diana's brother, begs to differ. Oh, yes, he does. He begs to differ ent- entirely. And as you said earlier on in, in the programme, there was also other allegations. You know, Prince Edward was terminally ill. The Queen wasn't well. Uh, there was the uh, also the allegation that Diana made against Tiggy Leg Book uh, that she'd had an abortion, which she, she did make that allegation. That's absolutely true. See, what has happened is that Bashir has prayed or has used Diana's paranoia at that time of... Uh, her, her belief that she, she was being snooped on by the security services and the police and the fact that everyone was against her. Uh, and so he put all that down in, in paper. Now, I have to say he got a graphics uh, d- designer at the BBC, a freelance designer, to mock up these um, these these documents. And in the original I- inquiry, the only person who seems to have paid a price is this graphic designer who seems to uh, have been told by the BBC he was never ever going to work for them ever again. Now, earlier this week, I read a story where where it showed that his flat was broken into not long after all this, and the the two floppy disks were taken. The only thing that was ever taken was two floppy disks, which contained, you know, the documents. Uh, So, you know, it's all very, very murky. And I have to say, Kevin, and you'll appreciate this, that if this had been the sun, the mail or the mirror, who had, you know, faked these documents completely, we would have been, there would have been such a public outcry, they'd be calling for the papers to be shut down, people to be sacked. We've hardly had a murmur. I mean, this this inquiry that they had 20-odd years ago seemed to clear Bashir of any wrongdoing. And as you said earlier on, the BBC have apologised already, so clearly there is something there that wasn't quite right, and there should be an independent inquiry. This Panorama programme is their flagship programme, mm, yeah. uh, and and the BBC are having, are having a real tough time just lately, and the fact that we now know the BBC or the, the Panorama team faked these documents is disgraceful. 
It really, it really is. And as you say, I mean, this graphic designer says that these fake bank statements in disk form were stolen from his house. Mm. So that tends to uh, point to the fact they definitely existed. He's saying that the Panorama team got him to do this or Bashir did. Uh, as you say, the BBC have apologised for anything Bashir may have done. So halfway, there, the BBC is halfway uh, towards uh, admitting that all this happened. They've yes. certainly admitted wrongdoing this is a massive possible nail another nail in the bbc's coffin because this is supposed to be the broadcaster that we all trust in this country and if they're using techniques like this why should we trust the state Absolutely. Broad break broadcaster any more uh we need we we'll we we'll push for time, Charlie. Yep. Let's, I, I like the I like the next story we're going to dis discuss, which is that uh, Harry and Meghan no longer sell magazines or newspapers. Put them no. on the front page, and your sales go down. That means they're finished. It does. It's their 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 image has plummeted, you know, to you know almost oblivion now. It was um, the uh, Ingrid Seward, the editor of Man Majesty Magazine, who I know very well, says she won't have them on the cover anymore because when she puts them on the cover just lately, the magazine isn't selling, and she is also claiming that it's the same with Hello. Now Hello is basically the royal bible, you know. You, you could put a picture of any member of the royal family on, on the front of Hello or, or Majesty and it would sell. But not so if it's Harry and Meghan. It just goes to show just how bad things are for this couple after doing what they did in quitting the royal family and setting up home. The only bit of good news we've got this week, Matey, is that they haven't made another video. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, wonders never cease. I, it, 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 I always said it would be a story the day those two didn't make a video, and here we are marking that. Charlie, fantastic royal report. A pleasure. Uh, let's do it all again next week. Charlie Ray, their former son, a royal editor and author. I'm Kevin O'Sullivan. This is the home of Common Sense and Free Speech Talk Radio.